previously on Avatar. Hey, 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 we're Snappers, this is Jordan with the Grey. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Lock Season 6. Uh, we are continuing on with our Avatar Lock through uh, Pokemon Y, and uh, we are doing so as members of the Earth Kingdom, which, if you guys do not remember, means that we can only use uh, fighting types, rock types, ground types, and steel types uh, with the occasional bug or normal type thrown in. Now, we are still here on Route 5, where we left off last time. Uh, if you guys remember, we'll take a quick look at the team. Uh, we caught Gecko here uh, on Route 5, did a little horde battling there, and uh, I've gone ahead and ground Gecko up a little bit. Is Shedskin probably uh, the worst uh, one we can have on a Scraggy, but that's okay. Uh, special defense raising, special attack lowering. Not going to be using my special attack, so not too worried about that. Uh, Roku hasn't really changed much. Penelope hasn't really changed much. Flopsy hasn't changed much. Poi hasn't changed much, but our beautiful starter, Toph, uh has grown in stature and uh, has gone ahead and evolved into Quilden, which you guys would have seen uh, in the previously on. So, um, there we go. I tell you, <laughs> I love Chespin. I love Chestnut. Honestly, I I've been a Chespin fan since the games were first revealed, but Quilden bring down, brings down the average. I think if Quilden had just been slightly cooler, like, Chespin would be giving Froki a run for money. Everybody seems to love Greninja. But man, Chestnut is cool. Chespin is, or Chestnut is cool. Chespin is really cute, and Quilladin is just there. <laughs> but it's okay, Toph. We love you anyway. All right, so we have a rival battle to jump into here, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. We got uh, Trevor and Tierno, and Tierno's got his uh, dance partner here that he's coming at us with. There we go. Corfish. Corfish. Fish, fish, fish. I really like Corfish. All right. We're gonna go for the faint attack. I was just gonna say, like, oh, can we use Corfish? I was thinking the dark type, because Gecko's got the dark type, but no, it's the fighting type that gets us Gecko, not the dark type. <laughs> I was all excited there for a second. I was like, wait, can we use Krana? <laughs> no, no, we cannot. All right. Uh, oh, what are we doing? Okay. Uh, yeah, Endure, sure. Um, if I find myself using Endure, we've got bigger problems, but. Uh, I'm not going to use Odor Sleuth for sure, so I guess I'd rather have it than not, in, in case we do need it. All right, here we go. Um, good to see you, Tort. All right, yeah, I don't really, I don't really want to talk to you guys. <laughs> keep, 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 keep on keeping on. Uh, so my goal for today is to get us to, uh, well, not for today, but my goal is to get us, oh, goodness, uh, another gulp, and a high gulp, and there's lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of gulp on this route. Here we go. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and quick throw a potion on... I'm going to throw a potion on Gecko. There we go. All better. Um, want to fight this guy? Uh, yak. We're not going to fight everybody, but uh, I feel like I remembered when I was doing some scouting. I was watching my... I've got. I've done a couple of Pokemon uh, Kalos uh, regions. I've got Pokemon X. Uh, uh, so I've done a couple of series on Pokemon X, and uh, so yeah, I was doing some scouting. I was like, oh yeah, Kadabra, that'll be good. There we go. Gecko to level 13. Fantastic. I just start Hamish. Looking good. Alrighty, continuing on here. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying, I want my goal is to next episode get ooh <laughs> caught by a wild Pokemon. Uh, my goal for next episode is to get to gym two, so we got some ground to cover. Um, and so we'll go ahead and kind of zip on through. There's a lot of like not plot going on in this episode. There might be some movie magic in the works. <laughs> I don't think anyone will forgive me. I think anyone who uh, at this point on, ten years down the line, is a. Uh, probably seen enough callous runs that they're they're all set uh, for <laughs> watching fireworks. <laughs> hey, Pancham! Gotta love a good Pancham. Alright, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run, though. Um, Gecko taking a beating here. Can we get... There we go. Goodness gracious. 
Let's quick pop into the Pokemon Center here. And we'll heal up. Took a little bit more of a beating than I would like. But yeah, so um, we do have a couple of potentially fun encounters going on today, though. Um, which will be exciting to see unfold. Um, we're going to head out on Route 7 here. We'll talk to these guys. Uncle, what is it? All right, so we've got a Snorlax blocking the path. And our task is to what? To get the Poke Flute, I guess. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Uh, but first, um, one of the things we... Well, yeah. I was saying, one of the things we're going to do. We're going to go catch a Pokemon is what we're going to do. Um, we've got an encounter here on Route 6 that I am super excited to... Uh, to go ahead and take care of. So we are going to do that before anything. Alrighty. So I think the only way to get to the Route 6 grass is through this way. So let's do that real quick. Esper is not a legal encounter. As fun as that would be. Uh, let's go ahead and take the experience here. go we'll take that hey look good looking out gecko all right what else we got <laughs> look at that what a beauty and that is exactly what I was hoping for <laughs> I think there's a, a small chance I think they're pretty similar percentages but I think there's a chance we could have gotten like stuck with a sentry or something that would have been so mad uh, but here we go Hone Edge. Um, in my last Pokemon X run, we actually got a shiny Hone Edge. I think it was like the third Pokemon I encountered on the route. It was uh, it was amazing. Uh, Ray is was I, one of my prized possessions. But um, we have got a good old stock standard uh, Hone Edge here, which is great. Um, can we afford a Faint Attack? Whoo! Just about. All right, um, can't afford another one, obviously. Let's go to the bag and get the Pokeball out. Ah, I was really hoping that was going to work. I thought those, those colors would look good with the Honey Okay, <laughs> all right, oh, that's all right. We got, we got plenty of Pokeballs here. Uh, let's, ooh. Okay, we, you know, it would be good if maybe you didn't do that anymore. Which, <laughs> hmm, I don't want you getting wound up with all those. Let's uh, let's try to whittle you down here a little bit. Oh, really? Don't do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, okay. Okay. Maybe maybe we'll get a a freeze. That'd be nice. Oh my goodness. Why does it a level 11 Pokemon no sword? I mean, I guess it's a sword, right? It's a sword, but why does it no sword stance? That seems unnecessary. <laughs> Please get in the ball, Honage. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that was almost scary. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. A, uh, a wild two sword danced uh, fury cutting uh, uh, Honage here. That's not going to go out well for me. Give it a gift to call Honage. Yes. Um. I know that I said I was primarily going to be sticking with uh, Earth Kingdom names uh, in the nicknames, but um, I can't not name this thing Blue Spirit. Um, but as far as I figure, Blue Spirit really is kind of a, a, an agent of the uh, Earth Kingdom, uh, constantly working against, uh, working in the Earth Kingdom against the Fire Nation's uh, against the Fire Nation's uh, interests. So. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. All right, so fantastic. That's what I was, I was, I was, you know, we're, we're heading out. I, we gotta go, we gotta go get this Hone Edge. I'm just, I, I cannot wait to put Blue Spirit on the team. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. What in the heck? Whoa, a Venipede. That's cool. Um, couldn't get away. That's less cool. <laughs> I really don't like it when they, they make me make me hurt them. Look what you're making me do, Venipede. Look what you're making me do. Alright. Here we go. Venipede would have been cool too. We've got a bug poison type. 
but uh, I think Scolipede, probably a higher tier Pokemon than Beedrill. Especially, oh my gosh, I was so excited for a minute. I was like, oh my, why, why are there so many Pokemon attacking me right now? What's going on? <laughs> Do I need to not be walking this close to these bushes? I've never had this problem before in my entire life. I'm just trying to skirt around this trainer. Goodness, I've never been attacked <laughs> from those bushes before. That was wild. All right, let's quick, um, let's quick go heal, because uh, Blue Spirit is definitely going on the team. Steel type, I should note, uh, Blue Spirit is a steel type, uh, and so therefore legal. Let's go ahead and mm, honestly, I'm gonna Oof, poi or. Hmm. Honestly, I think we probably take uh, take Flopsy off the team for the minute, at least. Although pickup's really useful. But there's fairy types and stuff. I well, we got a steel type. Anyway, let's do this for now. We may we may change that up at a, at a later date, but uh, for right now, that's what we've got. Let's take a quick look at our uh, blue spirit here. Uh, fury cutter, metal sound, special defense, raising, speed lowering. No guard, ensure attacks by or against this Pokemon land. All that doesn't seem real great, but, uh, all right. Well, we're going to let the experience share kind of do its work there. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, we'll just continue on here. All right. So let's, uh, oh, it's you two. Did you actually, yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, ooh. Actually, we might need the blue spirit up because <laughs> uh, we've got a we've got a Snorlax to catch. So this is going to be our um, Route Seven. Oh, route Seven, yeah, our Route Seven encounter because it is the first Pokemon we were encountering. So it, I, I was considering like because there there are Crow Gunks on this route, and I was kind of really potentially interested in getting a Crow Gunk, but um, at the same time. I don't think the Snorlax is going to have anything it can do against Blue Spirit. Um, at the same time, I I can't really, like, fudge it. It's like, a Nuzlocke is the first legal encounter. And unfortunately for uh, for me, not unfortunately because I love Snorlax, but unfortunately for uh, me wanting to get a Crow Gunk, at the very least, uh, Snorlax is the first encounter. And I know that sometimes maybe we can ignore scripted ones or whatever, but I'm just choosing to play it straight, and we are going to... Um, Let's throw a Fury Cutter up. Okay, that looks good. We can modulate that a little bit better. Ooh, it does no lick. That was really bad. Was the first one a crit? <gasps> Blue Spirit! I can't believe you've done this! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, I meant to do that because I'm not taking the scripted encounter. I'm going to go catch a girl gun. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe that just happened. That's hilarious. All right. Well. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well. Uh, how's the team looking? Did did that did that hurt? All right, we're gonna we're gonna keep on keeping on. All right, let's see. So this is Route Six. I think we again. I don't remember what the flower color. I didn't really look that deeply. Oh, Ducklet. That's fun. Um, lots of Gen Five Pokemon here. Um, but okay. So we are going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. I, we're not we're not going to fudge that. I screwed that. <laughs> we we screwed up that encounter. <laughs> but um, I shouldn't have done so many. Uh, I shouldn't have done so many sword dances. But he just kept defense curling. All right, so we got the battle chanto here, and I was actually thinking we might uh, do a little uh, earth rumble here. Maybe wouldn't that be fun? Uh, I feel like. I feel like we haven't really taken advantage of this in any of my other runs, and I feel like it might be something that might be a little fun to do. So, we are going to take a couple of minutes here and uh, just check out the Battle Chateau. I might do a little bit of this, um, uh, a little bit of this on my own at some point too. Uh, but I feel like 
in neither of my other runs. And I actually checked a bunch of other runs that other people had done, and most people just skip right by this. And I was like, you know what, this could actually be kind of fun. Let's go check it out. Uh, I know I did at one point or another, at least on my own, do this. Uh, I, I never got, like, top rank or anything like that. I, I've never cared that much about it. But uh, So there we go, title of Baron. Uh, trainers with noble titles can do battle against other trainers with titles and nobility here. So we're uh, working our way up to being a, a Beifong, is that what we're doing? Climbing the aristocracy of the uh, Earth Kingdom. All right. For the best shadow. Send a writ about writs. Writs too. Yeah, I don't remember any of that. But I'm pretty sure we can go battle people. So let's switch. Actually, let's bring, let's bring Toph up. Might as well uh, lead with our starter. Put our best foot forward here. If if we need to act high class, we definitely need Toph to show us the way here. So, um, Baron or Lion sent out Ralts. All right, Toph is not yet a dark type uh, or a uh, fighting type. Hey, all right, didn't matter at all. I was wondering. I think Fairy does Fairy not resist. Does Fairy not resist dark? Either way. All right, looking good. I cannot blame others for my failures. I said I would do this myself. All right. I think you just kind of wander around this building <laughs> and battle people. So I guess that's what we're going to do. And uh, I don't know how many we've got to do to, to get to the next stage or whatever, but uh, we're going to do a couple of battles here, and then we'll, uh, then we'll just keep on keeping on. I think we've got an actual rival battle coming up, so we'll do a little bit of this. It's tough. i got to check. Is my team getting healed in between these? I would guess probably not. But maybe... Maybe. It seems like that would be something that would potentially happen in a place like this. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. All right. So there we go. Um, let me quick. Let's check the team. So I'm expecting that you defeat me or servant like me. You should have capable of doing the same to more suitable opponents. Your rank will grow faster. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. You're a little, a little snarky. It's all right. Hey, can I battle you? This is my debut to society. Well, this is not going to go very well for you here, Harrison. Especially not if you're bringing a horsey to the game. Alright, uh, Toph should be able to handle that no problem. Ooh, almost a one-shot. Gotta work on that, Toph. Toph the girl. Alright, here we go. Is Bullet Seed in this game? I feel like the Melon Lord should have Bullet Seed. Alright. I'm actually super crazy poor. Like, poorer than dirt poor seed. But I'm gonna raise my rank here, and that means revenge on life. I do recall... This is fun, just getting some actual Pokemon battling in. Um, I do recall that... Um... We haven't tried this yet, but can we switch our team around? Yeah. Alright, fantastic. Um, recall somebody saying that you actually get pretty decent money with this. Uh, which is good, because... Money's a little scarce, and I've, clothes and stuff are super expensive in this game. So probably going to spend some time grinding here, because like I think I said, I want to kind of get the Earth Kingdom colors going, got to hit some shops up, things like that, but uh, at the same time, <laughs> can't blow all my cash. Yeah, 1800 bucks. I can't blow all my cash um, on, uh, <laughs> on on new shirts. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do a lap of this room, and then we will head back out and uh, clauncher, and we'll do a battle with, I think there's some rivals coming up. And then, I think we potentially have one more encounter. Um, let me look at my spreadsheet here, which is, yes, on an actual sheet. Um, connecting cave. Yeah, Whismers and Meditites. None of that is super exciting. Although, Meditite! Hmm. Meditite is another potential psychic fighting type. I didn't think about that. I don't think... Was I, I, I think I started saying this and I got distracted. Um, I was so excited for a second because I thought, oh wait, Beedrill, I could get Mega Beedrill. That would be amazing. Unfortunately, Beedrill, and I would probably guess Mega Metatite, um, they actually crop up in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. They are not actually available in Kalos, which is really disappointing. Because <laughs> I was so excited about using Mega Beedrill for, for a second. Uh, who was Lunar Pursuit? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, 
I'm probably not going to use Metal Sound, let's be honest. And I tell you what, the Blue Spirit is good at pursuing. Oh, Twin Needles. Yeah, yeah, let's get rid of String Shunt. Man, everybody's looking at some moves. Show me your moves. All right. We're just fancy. It'd be nice if there was a place to heal in here. Um. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, please your attention to the entrance and welcome new Baron Moray. We hope that you will welcome him in our midst and train him in our ways. Is this, is this him? Okay, so... What? No. Oh, I forgot about that! <laughs> Everybody, every place wants you to tip! Okay, here's this. Alright, since they bothered to announce this guy, let's uh, let's beat him up a little bit. Fletchling, sounds good. Um, and then we will head out. Um, Alright, I don't want to put top up of that. Yeah, I don't want to put top up against that. So... Um, what is it, level 15? Let's see if Penelope can handle this. Uh, we can get one powder snow off. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can actually probably do this. We can withstand another peck. And one more power snow should do it. Yeah! Alrighty! Alright! Looking good, look at you! Even our special attack being lowered doesn't uh, keep him. How fortunate for you, this area is only for the Chosen, and you seem to be one of us. If you raise your rank, you'll be able to move her stronger. Don't you feel honored? Yeah, okay. Well, fantastic. Let's go ahead and leave. Baron Tort, farewell, my good sir, before you leave. I have pleasing news to share. Due to your recent excellence in battle, you have been granted the title of Viscount. Yes! Alright. We're gonna... We're working our way up to being Earth King here. Fantastic. All right, so let's go ahead and I don't want to run back to the Pokemon Center. So let's go ahead and I don't need super potions. Throw some potions on team here. Yeah, use them all up. All right, and then we've got a battle against our rivals. So we'll do that. And then we're going to pop into the connecting cave and grab that encounter. And that'll leave us uh, wide open and clear to do Glittering Caves and Gym Number 2 next time! I'm actually really excited about Glittering Caves. Um, because I think there's a couple of fossil Pokemon that are going to be very good additions to our uh, Earth Kingdom team here. Let's get this Corefish off the field. Yeah, yeah, attack that Fletchling. Oh, Corefish! Corefish, fish! There you go, there you go, attack a Pikachu. Alright. Come on, Serena, you're supposed to be my rival here. You gotta do better than this. Uh, Gecko wants to learn Swagger. That feels like a move that just is gonna come back to bite me more than it's gonna help me. Yeah, we're gonna give up on Swagger. Alright, we just got a Pikachu. Uh, looks like Trevor's got two Pokemon, though. So let's go ahead and set up the rollout. This is gonna get a static. I can guarantee. First time we touch this Pikachu, it's gonna static us. Hopefully, well, Serena's at least got a Fennekin, right? Brakeson. All right. I guess. I guess ours is evolved. Doesn't make sense that hers wouldn't be. There we go. Down goes the Pikachu. And then what is Trevor's other Pokemon? Hey, everybody's getting it. Flame Wheel. Who wants to learn that? Roku. Yeah. Why not? We'll take it. Roku and Flame Wheel. Roll up failed. Okay, flip a bay. I actually realized was it was it last episode that we were were trying to get a route and uh, <laughs> we ran into I don't know if it's scripted, but we ran into the one percent encounter white flip white, white flower flip a bay. <laughs> First thing on that race, like couldn't get the five percent routes to show up in a couple of encounters, uh, but got the one percent flip bay on, the, on that route. Uh, pin missile. Heck yeah, I want Pin Missile. Um, I think Rollout's probably outlived its usefulness. Yeah, yeah. All right. With as many uh, fighting types as we got on the team, uh, some psychic coverage is not going to hurt. All right. 
So there we go, we took down Trevor and Tierno, which seems like the most uneven matchup possible. Like, one of us should have been on their side. <laughs> but not right now. Uh, okay, so, um, we are gonna jump in... here? Oh, you know what? I've got... I picked up Cut. Um... It makes sense for Blue Spirit to learn Cut. I don't think I could teach this to anybody else, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Uh, it knows tackle, right? Yeah, we'll just give her a tackle. Fantastic! There we go, and we can already use it. What's back here? What are we looking at? Silver powder? That, uh, that boosts bug type moves? Or something, right? Uh, that boosts the power of bug type moves? Yeah, let's give this to... Let's give this to... We'll give it to Toph. Uh, because I think we had... We've got a poison barb, which we should give to Poi, because Poi's got that poison move. Um... And I guess we'll give this back to... Gecko? Alright. Doing a little bit of rearranging there. Let's pop in here. See, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that we, we've we got limited access to Megas, but, uh, here we go. Uh, Windsor! Wiz, Wiz, Wizmer! Alright, Wizmer is gonna be our encounter. Let's check Pig Missile. How are we doing? Brand new move. Oh! Oh! Hey. <laughs> I'm the greatest Earthbender in the world! Top takes no prisoners. All right, well, I think the first one was uh, the Blue Spirit's fault. Um, why am I so bad at being good? All righty, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I've really been enjoying uh, getting back into doing LPs. It's been years since I've done a proper one. Uh, and so... Um, I'm excited and, and gratified that you guys are watching along and liking and commenting and doing all that. Uh, keep that up. Uh, uh, super, uh, super appreciate just the engagement. It just makes it just makes it fun to, uh, you know, between episodes, uh, I get to get nice little treats of people uh, commenting questions and stuff like that. It's fun. I've forgotten how, how fun doing YouTube can be. <laughs> when you don't put a lot of pressure on it, which there is no pressure. I'm not even monetized anymore. I don't care, but uh, just doing it for the fun. But anyway, guys, I've been Torm of the Grain. You guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you all back here next time as we go through the Glittering Caves and take on gym number two and hopefully add another great team member or two to our team. Uh, as always, guys, I've been Torm of the Grain. You guys have been great. Have a good one.